of aliens invading Miami are going viral on social media. Hey everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't going to do this. I really wasn't going to do this, but I felt compelled that I had to do this. It's in regards to the Miami Bayside Market alien or not alien controversy or not controversy at all. Um, I, 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 don't know, I, I don't know, man. This is like pretty fucking funny and, and also weird because uh, <laughs> New Year's Eve, uh, you know, apparently there was like some kind of brawl happening with some kids, some youth, some youth down there at the mall. <laughs> and then like 50 squad cars show up commotion pandemonium people screaming like it was like mandalay bay apparently black helicopters although the police are saying there are no black helicopters in the air and then of course the infamous footage the, the the person took from his balcony looking down below at the street and the mall 50 squad cars 50 squad cars because of some kids were having a fight with some baseball bats uh, what there's overkill and then there's overkill but then again they're not really seeing, they're, they're just telling it was just a, a brawl. But why in the hell was everybody running from the mall like there was, it was an active shooter situation? Pretty, pretty wild. And then, of course, the footage of the quote unquote alien from the, the vertical f uh, video. I mean, it does not look like, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but it doesn't look like a shadow. I mean, I've never seen a white shadow. I mean, the thing looks white. And the thing is tall. It looks like it's at least 10 feet tall. It was it Larry Bird? Uh, or some other tall cracker? I mean, I don't know. And of course, that footage is so blurry. And, and it looks like a phone from like 2007. Like a flip phone. And then of course you have all the, the, the people who are coming out, you know, on TikTok or whatever. They're, they're giving their eyewitness account of it. The... The dude in the, the yellow uh, hoodie, what he's saying is it's, it's intriguing, you know, but if he's lying, he's doing a pretty good job, he's acting well. And if not, well, <laughs> that's a different story altogether. And then there's another dude uh, who's there with his family, and he's, he's conveying the same thing. He's at the mall, he saw this thing. You see these three, nine, ten foot tall, creatures flickering in and out of reality out, out of our perception uh, and apparently there were three of them and then there was also this woman who had this <laughs> admittedly maybe kind of wacky theory that um, if you take the coordinates for the mall itself and you reverse the XY uh, coordinates it gives you a location in the Antarctic. So here we have the coordinates to the Bayside Mall, and we're going to take them and reverse them. When you reverse it, meaning, you know, like you just copy and paste and put it backwards. You see what I'm saying, okay? Reversed it, okay? It took me here, somewhere in Antarctica. And if you're at all familiar with UFO and alien lore, then you're, you're aware that the Antarctic has a lot of a lot of alien lore built into it like admiral bird back in the it was after the war anyway after the second world war he took a gigantic uh u.s flotilla military vessels etc down to the antarctic apparently for research but his his account again i haven't read it i haven't seen the the hard copy of it but you know his account is that they were beaten back by ufos Maybe Nazi UFOs. Who knows? Oh, wow, it's wild. And then, of course, you have the uh, the Washington Flap uh, back in the 40s, I believe, as well, where a squadron of UFOs or something flew over the, uh, the White House multiple times, multiple dates, I think. And it, there is footage of this. There is film footage of this. Um, the Battle of Los Angeles. Uh, God, and then, of course, I mean, up until recently, 2020, 2021, I believe, is when the UAP uh, accounts and records started to come out. So, I mean, and especially with all the congressional hearing, the congressional hearings about UAPs, UFOs, extraterrestrials, all that interesting and fascinating stuff. Why now? And why? Why is it not really being completely um, 
revealed? Is it just a, a carrot, you know, dangling a carrot in front of her noses? Maybe it's possibly related to Project Bluebeam, which is a supposed deep state, a plan to to scare everyone into thinking that we are being invaded by extraterrestrials by using undisclosed high-tech holographic technology to to simulate an invasion from uh, from. ET. So I don't I don't know, man. It's wild to me. And then of course the cops aren't saying it. They're just like, no, it's just a bunch of kids, New Year's Eve, fireworks, baseball bats. It's wild, man. I don't know. I don't know which way to take it. I'm, I know I'm extremely fascinated by this. I kind of want it to be true that these aliens may be punched in the wrong coordinates and wound up in a shopping mall rather than the Antarctic. But there's one thing I know for sure. This would make an okay TV sitcom. You know? Um, aliens get stranded uh, in Miami. They have to take a job. They have to survive. They take jobs as night cleaners in the mall. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's the movie Paul. He managed to fool everyone. So you guys partake? Maybe Seth Rosen, Rogen can produce this. Anybody know Seth Rogen? Pitch this idea to him. Give me 10%. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out. And uh, that's it. Anyway, thanks. Thanks for watching this ridiculous post and please like share subscribe all that good stuff really helps the channel anyway thanks guys uh who knows man that was